know where kangaroos live? Do you know what they eat or how long they live? If you want to know what's up with kangaroos, you've clicked on the right video. Let's start off by me saying that there are many different types of kangaroo, and there are too many to be able to include all of them in a short amount of time. So in this video, we'll be talking about the most popular and common type of kangaroo called the red kangaroo, or using their scientific name, Macropo rufus. Now let's get an idea of what they look like. Male red kangaroos have a pale red or brick red fur on their backs, while females have a bluish gray fur on their back. Both of them have white furred bellies though. Their back fur looks just like the ground, serving as great camouflage, which makes it hard for predators to find them. They have powerful Z-shaped hind legs and strong tails used to help balance their body as they hop. Due to the shape of their legs, they actually can't walk backwards, meaning they definitely can't moonwalk. Also, they have shortened upper limbs with clawed paws. Moving up to their narrow heads and long noses, they have long pointed ears. They can be up to 5 feet tall and weigh 180 pounds. Big Jake, the biggest kangaroo ever to be recorded, was 7 feet tall and weighed 209 pounds. That's a big kangaroo! These guys live down under in the open plains of central Australia where their food supply is plentiful. The red kangaroos, like most kangaroos, are herbivores and only eat grasses and weeds they find out in the open. A super cool trait they have developed over hundreds of years of evolution is the ability to only need a drink of water just twice a week. This might have been caused by how hot it gets in Australia, causing lack of water and droughts. Very cool for them, but be sure not to try that yourself. The heat of Australia might also explain why kangaroos only want to be active during early morning and evening when it's not so hot. They only sleep about four hours every day, and this is because they always have to be on the lookout for predators. Something that helps protect them from predators is the ability to run, or really hop, up to 43 miles per hour. That's a fast kangaroo! Another way they keep predators away is staying in groups of 2 to 10. These groups are called mobs. Within a mob, there is typically 1 to 2 males and several females with their young. The red kangaroo evolved from the original kangaroos about 3 million years ago. The original kangaroos lived in the trees until about 15 million years ago, when they became land animals. This species evolved from other marsupials, which are mammals that carry their young in the pouch. The red kangaroos are actually the biggest marsupials and the biggest species of kangaroo. Some other well-known marsupials include the wombat, koala, sugar glider, and of course, all other species of kangaroo. The first sighting of the red kangaroo was around 1770, when there was a shipwreck somewhere on the coast of Australia. The crew saw these strange cats, as they called them, and were frightened at the sight. I don't know about you, but I would definitely be scared if I saw an animal I didn't know existed and it looked like it could knock me right out. Now let's talk about joeys. No, not this joey. Baby kangaroos. Human moms might be a little jealous of this fact. The gestation time, or the time the female is pregnant, is only 33 days. That's just over one month. After birth, the little joey will move to the mother's pouch and live there for about one year, and then will be considered independent. Imagine having to be an adult on your own at only one year old. A female kangaroo can be called a doe, flyer, jill, or a roo. A male kangaroo can be called a buck, boomer, jack, or an old man. The red kangaroos are definitely not in any danger of going extinct, considering that there are over 11 million of them. That's a lot of kangaroos. Some of the threats or predators they face are wild dogs, dingoes, and Tasmanian tigers. If you don't plan on going to Australia to see one of these awesome hoppers, check out your local zoo and they might just have one there. If you happen to come across one though, just be mindful, they aren't known for being very friendly. They are very skittish and are known to kick if they feel threatened. Best just to look from a safe distance. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. Make sure to turn on notifications for future videos, hit that like button, and follow my channel. If you want to know what's up with a different animal, leave a comment and it might just be my next video.